YesOR reporting allows you to keep track of how you and your team members are performing, along with the effectiveness of your campaigns and templates. Engagement reporting tabs should be leveraged to help you sort and keep track of who your most promising leads are. To get to your reporting page, go to app.yesor.com and click on the reporting tab, or from your Outlook, click on the YesOR button and hit open reporting to be taken to this page. The My Dashboard tab provides a snapshot of your performance in the last seven days, showing how your numbers are trending on emails tracked, template reply rate, recipient on engaged emails, and total link clicks. Below that, you can see which recipients have engaged with you the most through most opens, most clicks, and most views. And to your right, you can see what content is succeeding the most with most open email, most click link, and most viewed presentation. On the email activity tab, you can compare yours versus your team members numbers of emails sent, how many of those emails sent were tracked, and of the tracked emails, what is the open and reply rate. You can select a reporting period, which is capped at 365 days, either by selecting one of these preset options or click directly on the calendar of the time that you are interested in and hit done. You can filter users by a specific team or hit all teams to see the numbers from users from every team that you belong to. Advanced filters allow you to exclude your data and of users with no activity. Typically, an account manager who is not actively using Yesware will choose to exclude their data, but keep users with no activities in order to see who is not actively using the tool. As a default, we have colleague emails unchecked. Colleague emails meaning emails sent to people with the same domain as you. If you would like those emails included in the reporting, make sure to check this box. While you can use the sort by button to set the numbers by highest to lowest in accordance to these columns, I recommend clicking directly on the column you're interested in sorting from highest to lowest or vice versa. If you'd like to see who your highest in sent emails, click on the sent email. Click on it again to see from lowest to highest. You can use this trick on the column titles of every single reporting tab. The personal tracking tab is a log of every single tracked email that you sent out. As soon as you send out an email, it will be logged into the personal tracking tab. You can search for an email by subject line or recipient. If someone has opened an email, click the link or view an attachment, this will also be reflected on the personal tracking tab. You can click on the subject line and see what the location of the user is by IP address here. Engagement tabs. Both engagement tabs were created to help you sort out who your freshest and most engaged leads are. Because of this, we do cap the date range to 30 days. As previously mentioned, click on the column of interest to sort by highest to lowest or lowest to highest. You can sort them by engaged emails, total opens, total link clicks, and total attachment views. Click on the email address of one of the recipients to be taken to an interaction log. By clicking on their email address, you are taken to a contact timeline page that shows the interaction log between you and the recipient. The link click engagement follows the same principle. Who are your freshest leads that are actively engaging with you? So the date range is also capped at 30. Here you can see a list of every single tracked link that you sent that someone has clicked. We show you how many times it's been inserted into an email and the total number of clicks it received. 
If you click on the View Recipients button, you get a detailed breakdown of who clicked it and how many times they clicked it. Templates by Users lets you know how many templates a recipient is using and how many times they've inserted them into an email. Templates by Users lets you know who in your team is utilizing templates and what is their overall success rate. Like the Email Activity tab, you can customize the reporting period up to 365 days, filter data out by teams, and set advanced filters like excluding any data or including certain data. Either use the sort by button to select how you would like your columns to be sorted or click directly on them to see from lowest to highest. From here, I can see that Casey, who is part of the Customer Success AMS team, has used 19 templates and they have been inserted into 23 different emails. Of those 23 different emails, her success rate is open rate of 82% and a reply rate of 22%. Templates by Templates is a reporting page to let you know how successful a template is itself. It does not necessarily have anything to do with the recipient. It's a good place to know what templates are working and as a manager, what templates you should encourage your team to be using. If you are not a manager, you can still use this page to see what templates are working for your colleagues and if you could be using them in your email interactions. Like the templates by users and email activity tabs, you can select a reporting period of up to 365 days, filter users by teams, use your advanced filter tab to exclude or include certain data, and sort the columns either by using the sort button or directly clicking onto them to see from highest to lowest or lowest to highest. Here, I see that introduction demo was created by Casey and is currently living in the demo folder. I see here two people are using it and the template has been inserted into 15 different emails. From those 15 different emails, it's received a 20% open rate and a 0% reply rate. Now, this introduction demo template was created by Casey, but it does not mean necessarily that she is one of the two users. It could have been me, it could have been Dave, or anyone else from the team that has access to the demo folder. This is just letting me know that two people have used the introduction demo in the last 60 days. And from those two users, we are getting those 15 different emails. Could have been that seven of them were coming from me and maybe eight of them were coming from Dave. And that's where we're getting this templates track number. Campaigns by Users is a high-level reporting tab that shows you how a user has done overall with campaigns. Reporting period goes up to 365 days here, and you can sort columns by using the Sort By button or again, clicking just directly on the column you are interested in. Here I can see that in the last 30 days, Dave has added 278 people into a campaign with an overall open rate of 54%, a click rate of 10%, so someone who has clicked a tracked link, a connection rate of 5%, so someone who has actually replied to him in the campaign, and three meetings booked. Now for meetings booked, we can only count those if the person is inserting a meeting scheduler link in there. If you are using a different scheduler function than yes, where scheduler function, we are not able to keep track of how many meetings were booked. 
As a manager, you do not have direct access to a user's campaign dashboard. So in order to see how well a user is performing in their campaign, you will want to utilize the campaigns by users page, click on the user and see the overall totals of their campaigns from here. Campaigns by campaigns, like templates by templates, is not necessarily showing you how an individual is doing, but how the actual campaign template itself is doing. Here, I can see that new user Gmail welcome campaign was created by Casey. And in the last 60 days, 316 recipients were added to it. It has received an open rate of 81%, a click rate of 46, and a connection rate of five with zero meetings booked. The campaign was created by Casey, but it doesn't necessarily mean that Casey is the one that added these 316 recipients. If Casey has shared this with a team that I'm part of, as well as my colleague, Dave, it could mean that a hundred of them are coming from me, 100 from Dave, and 116 from Casey. There is no way to tell how many people are currently using the campaign. Um, this is just letting you know that overall, there are 316, 316 recipients were added into it in the last 60 days. If you click on the campaign, you get a breakdown of how each touch on the campaign performed. Here you can see the number of recipients who completed this touch in the last 60 days, how many recipients skipped this touch, open percent, click percentage, connection rate, and meetings booked. I can sort the reporting period up to 365 days. and filter out any campaigns that don't have any activity. I can sort my columns by using the sort by button or just clicking directly on the column itself to make it go from highest to lowest or lowest to highest. On the top right of every tab, you'll find a download report button that you can use to download a CSV with the information that you are currently viewing. This button is found on all tabs except for the personal tracking tab. On the reports download page, you can report a CSV with the number of your email activities during a selected date range and select what team specifically you're interested in. For templates report, you can also select up to 365 days and select whether you want a CSV with your information or any of the teams that you belong to.